Hello everyone. Today I'm going to make a realistic t-shirt design. So this is going to be a very advanced work. This is not a beginner friendly. And for realistic designs, I can show you some examples like this. So these are kind of realistic designs. You can find this kind of designs a lot. And I'm just going to make it in Illustrator, not in Photoshop. It is easy to make in Photoshop, but let's try illustrator so these are the elements i'm going to use from this vector pack and then i'm going to use some realistic fire elements to use in this design you can see this is also a vector so the first step is i'm going to make a graphic here the center graphic because this is from pre -pick, so i just cannot take it and use it as it is so i need to modify it now for this one here this is a single color vector now if i just okay i'm starting at 10 4 let's see how much time it takes so i'm selecting this one now ctrl c to copy ctrl b to paste in back now that part is in back if i make it merge unite it is going to become one single shape so if i change the color of it it is going to look like this so that is good if i select these two here i can make it group Ctrl G to group. So this is one vector. And I need to do the same for FD vector here. Now Ctrl C, Ctrl B to paste in back. Merge unite. Then eyedropper red. So this is on another vector making that a group. I need to do this for every vector here. Now this one Ctrl C, Ctrl B. Merge unite. Making it red. Then making it group. So we can do this later but Ctrl C Ctrl B I am doing this first because it is going to be a very high quality work and that can be a problem for us so I am selecting it Ctrl G to group it now it is in color that is good this is my main graphic the firefighter now I am going to take a ellipse just a little bit like this pressing con shift X for converting into strokes maybe 10 pixel stroke or a bit less that's good okay so I am selecting these two placing that center wise that is good I am selecting my this X vector then right, right click transform reflect to make a copy maybe a bit like this that is good let's group it too now I am going to place it something like this in a bit position this is that is good selecting them again to place in the center position now i am selecting my ellipse ctrl x ctrl b that will be pasted in back now i am selecting my x and my firefighter this to go to object path then offset path let's not that much maybe a bit a little bit offset path of them like this now merge unite to make it a complete black shape Ctrl X to cut. Now I am selecting my this ellipse here. Maybe just a bit adjustment manual. Something like this. That is good. Now I am opening the transparency for it. Ctrl F to paste in front. That is going to give this cut out effect. And that is good. Click here. Okay. Maybe just click here again. Inside the transparency you can see. That is visible from here. Let's draw a black shape there. That will hide it. Now this is. Okay, so make sure that you are drawing a black shape only. Not in any color, it is in a stroke. So if I press Shift X, it is going to convert into fill. Then make it black. And black will hide it. So that's good. Now, this position is good. I am selecting them all, making them a group. Then maybe I can just use my eraser tool to erase this part. This lower part, I don't need that. Something like this. Now I want to place my this firefighter track here selecting them all center position that much is good let's bring them a bit down okay i want to make that firefighter my focus text here focus graphic here not this track so this is just a supportive character like this now go to object path offset path this is all same process same old process so ctrl x to cut now I am selecting this group 
open transparency press control f and now make sure that everything is black that's good so it is looking like this that position is good for us okay that is not a problem okay guys so this is just my graphic right now let's group them so that i don't lose their position maybe this strokes i can select the ellipse here only then i can expand it so nothing here in strokes right now that is good okay let's bring our text this is the firefighter text i will use something a bolder looking font maybe my go everywhere yeah this font is good but the problem is the space between letters are a bit low here so let's increase the space something like this that is good now let's break it i don't need to act like a font selecting them center position that much is good let's select our text go to effect wrap arc lower something like this not that much okay maybe 15 that's good click okay now i am making it bigger just a little bit then it is good something like this that's okay let's expand it because we applied the effect here now i'm selecting my firefighter text i need to create a effect here object offset path same offset path maybe a bit smaller in size that much is good now without clicking anywhere else go to pathfinder click on this unite it will make it a complete one single shape so let's control x to cut it now if i press control b it is going to paste in back now i can simply change the color it will be easier to see now i am going to bring that down something like this but not this much let's bring it a little closer to the original text something like this maybe okay not in that position yeah this is good now if i press ctrl f again it will paste that offset part that we copied little earlier in front of my that text original text so i am selecting this red one and the black one pressing alt and clicking on this minus font it will just erase it and make it a effect here okay let's do it again i am going to make it a little bit closer to the original style now this is the my original font let's change the color so blue is my original font this black is the offset part and the red is the offset part so i'm selecting these two offset part alt and minus front it is going to create this effect so that is good expanding it now i'm going to make it red so that is good let's group them together now i want to create a white for my design like everything will be inside this area something like this that is good let's select them i'm going to make it same white with my design so this is the text firefighter i am not going to do any kind of effect on this text here anything else the effect is created already now i wanted to create two more use these two text also let's right click recent font go everywhere same font and then i'm going to increase the space between them maybe a bit more yeah that's good now i don't need them to act like a font so let's break it now i'm going to use this as a divider here now if i select them okay before selecting them i'm going to select these two font let's align them in the bottom something like this that is good let's go to object path offset path this time same offset path okay unite then ctrl x to cut ctrl b to paste in back now move the position okay not this much i need to place it closer to the text something like this then if i press ctrl f again it will paste my that offset path in top of this let's align them like this maybe now select that black is selected if i press shift and click on this red it is also going to be selected now i'm pressing alt and click on this minus front it is going to make that effect expand it that is good selecting this black layers make it same red 
so it may not look looking very good but don't worry about that we will fix it later so I'm selecting them all of it first I'm going to this text and this text making them a group control G now for this area this offset path selecting them making it a group now I need to make it manually something like this position that is good let's select all of them align them center wise now this one like this something like this that much is good now I am going to create a, a stroke here just same size as my text here something like this that is good it is in fill right now pressing shift x for converting into a stroke maybe this much a bit up sorry for that I am making it in a very smaller size so that's why it is not working when I am making it moving the position with my arrow key center align then I am going to distribute the space between them this much is good okay if I select this one that is in the <coughs> center position I am selecting this two stroke pressing shift E for eraser tool I need to make it smaller then if I just a little bit smaller if I press alt and create a rectangle like this it is going to erase it so as you can see it is just erasing the effect here okay th those four stroke is selected I am expanding them now it becomes a shape and for this one this effect is not looking very good so let's erase that just keep it simple as it is let's make them a group so it becomes one single shape that is good I am just going to place it somewhere like this but I need to make it same wide as my design this is nothing <laughs> my design is not started yet so something like this position that is good now for this one here yeah let's do a bit overlap no problem object offset path same size offset path or a bit bigger maybe 2 pixel that's good control x to cut selecting my this group then opening the transparency for it press control f it is going to paste look like this i need to make sure that there is no stroke in it and then everything is in black so that is good okay so this is my design in draft right now now I need to I am just locking my guides lock guides now I need to create a background for my design because now the design process starts like how I want it to be so this text may be in white I want to make it a red and white design that's the firefighter color or I can just make it red and yellow let's see how it will look on yellow so that is good okay now for this offset path here that we created I am going to make it yellow and that is going to look like this so that's the fire color and the red is the firefighter color anyway that's not the problem so this is the, the draft of our design now our that design starts now for this rectangle here I am going to control X to cut this is my layer one I am going to create another layer bring that down now I am pressing control B that rectangle is in that layer I am going to lock this layer so it will not move from its position and I am going to work on my layer one so that is good now the fireworks <laughs> begins okay so these are really high quality vectors and that's working with them is really hard so it may take some time for me to adjust them okay this vector is a bit high quality I'm going to start with this one so let's select this one Control C to copy now here I am going to paste my fire this is going to take some time of course as you can see making this kind of realistic fire is a tons of work and there is some problem that it only works on black 
if you want to make it reduce this kind of realistic elements then you need to make sure that you are working on black because on white it there will be this kind of black effect that is you can see here okay so i am going to place on fire here just in the background of my main design so i need to make sure that nothing is going out of my white here you can just fast forward it a bit because it is going to take some time and depending on my computer configuration i am using i7 and 16 gb ram but still that is not enough for this kind of designs so it is going to look like this now maybe a bit left something like this that is good okay so this one this fire i want to be in the background so i am selecting this control x to cut i am selecting my this group this firefighter and everything else let's press control b it is going to paste that fire in the background of my design something like this that is good let's make it a bit long like this yeah that is good it is going to fill those areas now for the another fire that i wanted to use here i am going to use that in front of my firefighter so this one is the fire let's select it control c to copy now i am going to place it first of all i need to make sure that i am placing it in the right place so i need to select my this firefighter nothing else here so when the firefighter is selected if i place press ctrl v it is going to paste here now this is going to take a lot of time and yeah that is the fire so i need to first of all make sure that it is inside my design wide area that is good something like this and then from this area this side maybe i should pause the recording and then do the design but i don't know if that will help you or not okay so this position is good for me now i need to see how it is looking so this much is good for the design i think but i need it to be something like in a bit upper position so that it is visible on top of my that truck something like this okay so when we are placing anything inside a group like this firefighter and the x group then if we placed anything inside their transparency that will be automatically applied to the new object so whatever we pasted in its transparency it is going to activate here in the activate here for the fire also so if i double click to isolate the group here you can see this is how it is looking right now so there is a fire in the background another fire in the foreground of the firefighter so that much is good let's use this fire this is really this one is not that much details at least than that fire so it is going to it is easier to work with this fire control c to copy I'm going to my original layer now for this one here i am going to create a effect like i am going to place this fire this fire on top of my this car so sorry this truck so it will be like in front the fire will be in front of my truck so i don't know how it is going to look like come on why is this one this much bigger <laughs> okay so this is i just wanted to show how to make a realistic designs this is not very important and not <laughs> not like you need to do a design like this but yeah this is the advanced kind of work you may have seen some designs like this in pinterest or different websites okay guys so this is just looking like this okay guys so after making some adjustment this is the 
position of my this front fire right now let's double click to isolate the group now for this one the design here i wanted to create some effect for my this firefighter text also so i am going to select this text this one maybe control c now i am going to place it here like okay let's just place it first okay this one is also bigger than the size i am working here i am working in a very smaller size area because that helps to create a design and then of course i can scale it up because i am making it in illustrator so size is not a matter here so something like in this area sorry for this it is just if you work with this kind of file you know that it is really hard to work with this much detailed graphic so i'm just going to create some copies here that is just overlapping my designs here like a little fire effect on my firefighter text another copy here we applied some effect on the design like the cutout effect we can of course apply that to this one here to this area here but i am going to do something else for this <laughs> i don't know if this is recording or not i am just doing it okay so this much is enough for me now for the rest of the area like this area i wanted to create this same fire effect like everything here will be in fire so another copy maybe here or something like this okay let's do that later let's finalize this one so whatever copies we pasted here we need to select them all just like this I need to select this one this one of course this one this one sorry okay so everything here is now selected I am making them a group control G so when they are in group I am going to sorry for that it just okay so I am going to open the transparency for it I don't know it will crash my illustrator or what so making clipping the transparency now whatever we created here like an ellipse right so if I take a ellipse here and create a ellipse like this not bigger in size but of course in the same size of my that existing lips and when it is in black it is going to hide my those design areas so I need to make sure that it is inside my that area something like this okay so this much is good for me let's make it a bit smaller so this is we are pasting inside the fire transparency you can see here so if i click here my fire will be selected and i am out of the transparency right now so i am going to control x to cut it now selecting my this group this fire and the ellipse everything press control b here it will paste that fire just in the background of my this fire group or the firefighter group whatever it is something like this and that is good I am now selecting this shape this fire shape making this a bit long because I wanted to cover those areas now that is good selecting this one make it long like this like everything here I want to 
keep in the same fire effect so if i select this one maybe a bit bigger like this that is good so that's the final graphic for my this one now here as you can see that this text i keep it out of my fire effect but that was intentional so no problem here now if i zoom in like this you can see the original design here okay guys so i'm not going to take too much time here that is done whatever i wanted to share so this is how we can create a realistic design with some realistic vector elements and that is really it's easy to use easy to create just you need to do it properly and you need a good configuration of your computer so that's it guys i hope you learned something new from this one i will of course add some texture to the design but that's later so that's it for today's video guys see you in the next one guys have a great time thank you everyone